Thomas Small Conversation Corner. Today's topic is eliminating fear. Eliminating fear is something that um, I've done a number of videos on in the last year or so since I've been involved with EN. And within my personal development, I've recognized that eliminating fear or just the idea of fear is something that we all need to work on. Um, those that have worked on it have become successful in whatever endeavors uh, that they consider a success. But I was watching a video by Bob Proctor and he quoted something by Joseph Campbell and it says, the cave that you fear to enter holds the treasure that you seek. The cave that you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. And it's so important because fear causes you to put a pause on everything you do. In this particular video um, by Proctor mentioned uh, how important aware awareness is and being able to, to recognize fear and recognize it even if you recognize what you want. It's just having that ability to uh, be aware of something. He also went into the subconscious and the conscious mind and how the subconscious is the emotional uh, uh, side uh, or an emotional mind and the uh, conscious mind is the more thinking mind and the uh, intellect mind and the uh, uh, educated mind. Uh, it, the, con uh, the conscious mind has the ability to choose. In essence, it has the ability to decipher, to accept or reject or, and actually originate. But the subconscious mind, um, it accepts anything that's being offered to them. And what's so imperative or important to know about the subconscious mind is, is it can't tell the difference between reality or something that's real in comparison to something that's imagined. So our whole thought process, which goes back to what um, Earl Nightingale says on a regular basis, that you are what you think about. It's just that simple. You are what you think about. Because what you think about, the subconscious mind takes it in. And that's when it starts to form. That's when action starts to take place. And one of the uh, very aspects of uh, life is uh, when it comes to developing and growth is your self-image. You know, the self-image is, uh, like we said, is formed during your growth years. Um, it's what you've been taught. In essence, it's, your, it's a part of the paradigms. And paradigms is basically what you've seen in your environment within growth. And he went really deep into it and he started telling you, you know, that it's a collective of what of what you've seen. Um, the, you know, the, the paradigms, it, it equals your culture. You know, the paradigms are a group of habits. And then when it becomes a multitude of habits, it comes right back down back to being a, a paradigm. So all of those are actually circled. A paradigm is the is the uh, main essence of who you really are. Um, but he also went from there to explain his concept of where fear uh, takes place. And he has a, a thing called the terror barrier. Um, he has something called the X and the Y's. The Y's is something that you want. The Y's is that. I want to go on that trip. Hence, going to Jamaica. Dream team, all in. Um, September. That's my why. Jamaica. What? That's my why. I want to buy a new car. I want to go on a trip. I want to purchase a new home. I want to go for another job. I want to start my own business. That's the why. That's the thing that you just want to do. That's the goal. That's the dream. That's that emotion that you really want. Um, the X, that's that comfortable side of you. That's that side that's saying, wait now. You know, we've been over here just hanging out. We go to work. We come home. We stay safe. We play it safe. Um, we're not, we don't save a whole lot, but we're just more comfortable. We're not the happiest with the results. It's not like I love my job so much, but I'm comfortable with this. So that's the why. But the terror barrier, what that means is, or uh, and, and I'm pretty sure you can look at uh, Brock Proctor. He's the master of that. Um, but from my take of it is when the emotions that get it come into play from that why, that thing that you really want, and it starts to make its way to coming into fruition, all of a sudden, something happens. That's when it hits that terror barrier, that wall. It hits that wall. And what he said is doubt, fear, and anxiety comes into play. And when that comes into play, that X takes over. That whole idea turns around and it goes back to the X state, which is being more comfortable. Comfort comfortability. That's not what we want. That's not what we discuss. That's not what we are grooming each other and those that are coming from uh, coming behind us to think like. 
We want that why. We want to have that emotion placed into that want. Is it money that you want? Put the emotion behind it. Get it in that sub. Clean up that subconscious mind. Make that your ever every waking thought of how you can get to what you want. I've seen it before. Set the intentions. I've set intentions without even knowing that that's what I was doing. I had never even heard of setting your intentions until I became a part of EM. Personal development, inner circle, all of the things, Costa Rica mastermind, all of these things that they've taught and that they talk about and discuss. It opens your mind and then it opens your mind to go and look elsewhere. And bring in other people, the Earl Nightingales and Napoleon Hills. And then so many people have already talked or, or, or read those uh, uh, books and looked at those videos and still didn't understand it. But once they got around a group of people that actually did understand it and they were willing to discuss it with you, willing to continue on with you, willing to do everything that was necessary to help you get to the point of where they are. That's when you know you're around a, good, a, a group of, of good people. And that's what we are. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm my, I am life's liaison. That's my job. I've taken that upon myself to be a community facilitator. And I feel as though I've been called out. I was actually uh, selected to be a school chairman, a school board chairman. Can you imagine? I'm not even a, a college degree person. I didn't finish college. I'm a college dropout. Everybody in there has been on school boards for years. I barely, I've barely, barely been on a school board for a year. My name wasn't even on the list, and I won in a landslide. Can you imagine? I've been telling the world for the last year that I'm a community facilitator and that I'm life's liaison. So the universe bent and said, okay, this is what you are. Here's something that, you, that fits right along with what you say you are. Okay. So I've taken that position on gladly, and I'm going to do everything I can. It's about helping the teachers. It's about helping the school. It's, and most importantly, it's about helping the children become educated and learning how to think. Eliminate fear. Remember, I always end by saying, think first. Be smart. Be smart. Think first. But getting back just um, to, to finalize this video, because I'm going a little bit longer than I normally do, but Bob Proctor said it best at the end. Bet on yourself. Who can you trust more than yourself? You know what you can do and you know what you can't do. And the things that you feel as though you can't do, you can do it. It's just that you're stopping yourself. I'm a prime example. I know there, I'm no different than anybody else. But right now, I have learned to bet on myself. And that's what I'm doing. I'm betting on myself. I have short-term goals, which I am going to accomplish. I have long-term goals, which I am going to accomplish. They will come into a fr a fruition. I have set the intentions. I do my prayers. I do my um, affirmations. I cleanse myself personal, uh, personally with the personal development. And it is a work in process. A work in progress process, however you want to say it. Trust me, it is. We all have the talent and the ability, all within us, to uh, within ourselves to do whatever we want. So with that conversation corner, let's eliminate this buyer's remorse. Let's eliminate this fear by changing the way we think. If you notice that it always comes back to that same concept, changing the way we think. Conversation corner, Thomas Amal, talk to you soon. Click the link below. Join us. It is that time. We look forward. We would love to have you be a part of us. We would love to have you come a part of this movement. It's almost 200,000 people worldwide in a company that's barely 18 months old. Come on. Time out for all of this. Who Aren't you tired of getting up and going to work for somebody else? Linear income. You're giving money to other people. You're making money for other people. You're trading time for money when you could be working less, making the same amount, if not more. Just think, if you work 40 hours a week and you make a certain amount of money, what if you work 20 hours a week and made that same amount of money? That means you work less and made more. Come on, let's think. Remember, Conversation Corner, Thomas Amal, EN, Dream Team. Think first. Come on, man. Think first. Be smart. Be smart. Think first.